Hot97.com, Big Spanish, DJ enough here in full effect. Look who I found. Hi. My man Rocco. What's good, bro? What's up? Man, we out here grinding it out, man. You out here early promoting what what you promoting? The, the man, artist, the new single? I'm promoting everything, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm promoting uh nachos. I'm promoting my new single. <laughs> you don't even know it. Yeah, your I'm new pro- single's yeah. retarded. Yeah, man. I'm promoting karate chop. Uh man, I'm promoting. Everything. Everything. I'm promoting Gifted Gab, my new mixtape. <laughs> I'm promoting Future Hendrix. They're coming out, the new Future album coming out. Okay. I'm promoting Pluto 3D that's in the stores right, right now, now, just in case you don't have that. Thanks for the uh, plaque. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, love, the man. The plaques came to the house, and yeah. I was like, oh, this is beautiful, man. Yeah, Camilo hit me too, man. Like, he got here. I was like, that's Yo, what's that up. was nice, man. It was yeah. nice to get that. And oh, um, yeah. I remember we went to... Uh, I think we went to Magic City and we we heard Future for the first time. Tony Montana. We yeah, had the we, heavy hitters we had the heavy hitter retreat and I was like, yo, what the hell is this? And we left out of there so excited about yeah, Future. I remember. That we just, I, I know when the heavy hitters went home to their own marketplaces, I everybody know. started playing it like, I remember like it was yesterday. Exactly. But we had a good time, man. We, yeah. we turned it up for real. Oh, yeah, I remember. After that, we went to New York. Like, Yeah, it was crazy. Around, I had yeah. a good time. I, I spent all my money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we turn. Talk to me about... Uh, your new single. We talked about it sounding so different. Like, what makes you pick a song like that? Just to, it's, everybody's doing like this. Yeah. This kind of bounce thing. They're in the club. You know, your your sound is just so different. I think that's what I mean. I, I pride myself on that. You know what I'm saying? Like because I like for my singles, like where people are, are pick the the beat with all the bounce and the up tempo and mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying the faster beats. I, I pick the slow beats. Mm-hmm. I pick the beats that's slow with the different sounds in them and you know. But sometimes I just sometimes I just want to rap on a fast beat or whatever. Like right. nachos, nachos. It's it's pretty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty typical beat. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's different too. It's got different sounds in it. But my new record, you don't even know. It's just, like, to me, it's like cinematic. Man, I don't it's, that like sense like, it's, it's like a mixture. It's like a mixture of a West Coast beat with a South beat. Right. With a, it's it's just phew, you don't even know it. Hey, I don't even know it. You did a video already for that? Nah, not yet. We shooting you a video. Got, I you gotta shoot week. a yeah. movie video, yeah. like not just a video. Um, like it needs to be a long extended, like a real film. A real film. Yeah. Don't lose out on the opportunity. That's the, real tough. The sound just sounds like that. So, just sounds- so what's what, what's new with you, man? Everything's good. Yeah, everything's great, man. I'm uh, I'm touring off my new mixtape, Gift of Gab. It's got me pretty much here. Well, uh, salute to everybody that got that. Yeah, I'm um, I just got a, got to a million downloads on that. Nice. So platinum. In Congratulations. The yeah, I appreciate that. I'm platinum in the streets off that one. And uh, man, it's just a blessing, man. We out here moving around. You know, got future going well over there. Shot the epic. You know. Got uh got me in a great position over there. Good. And um, just trying to keep it in the road, man. Just gonna keep dropping these singles. Just keep dropping them till I finally get me uh get that number one joint. How do you concentrate on your own career, but then future, and then the new artist that's coming up on the label? How do you just manage all the time? It's a hard job, you know what I'm saying? I haven't figured it out, you know. Right. I still got a lot to learn and a long way to go. I just wake up every day and put my pants on one leg at a time and mm. just try my best, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And just try to balance it out, you know. And it's it's, it's hard for me as a, a as an artist because I um you know when I'm doing something, I want to I, I want to put a hundred percent into mm. it. So it's hard for me to just be doing this and be doing that. So sometimes I have to sit something down and just focus on getting something done. Right. So when I'm being an executive, I have to sit my artistry down and just focus on being an executive. Then when I'm when I'm trying to rap, I have to find a, a couple of days off or something where I can go in the studio. And, and do that, you know. But when I come to New York, I get to really balance it all out because I get to do the executive thing, go to right. the labels, go to the labels. Right. I get to do everything. I get to move around like an artist. I get to kick it, you know. That's so good. I love coming to New York. What about, what about um, admitting to some of the mistakes, like maybe like artists that pass through your movement or your fingertips and you just let them go? If you in the A running the town, there's a million artists trying to get on. There's have to be one or two that slip through your fingers. Um, I don't know. Like Sierra used to be at my house every day mm-hmm. before she before she blew up. Get out of here! She started to tell me like when she got out of school and stuff, she used to come over. She was like, "Rock, you gotta hear my song, Rock, you gotta hear this." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I always believed in her, but I just didn't know right know how, what to do. I didn't have to know how, the know how. You know what I'm saying? So you still talk to Sierra now? Yeah, that's my sister. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's so, hot. Yeah, so. I mean, that's that's really the only one I can see because everybody pretty much that 
crossed my path like when I had the knowledge of actually knowing how to do it and, and knowing how to work the music you know I did it mm. you know what I'm saying yeah Sierra got a hot joint out right now too oh, shout yes, out to Sierra well Rocco man thanks for coming through hey, man, I appreciate thanks it, for being up here yeah good luck with your music your career your appreciate label it. and it. when it's time for me to go back down to ATL I'm gonna call you man call me man well, man I, I, really, I need it I need to really see what it's like Hey man, I'm gonna do you a, a personalized version of my You Don't Need No Record too, man. Okay. Dub plate, man. I'm oh, don't tell me that. that. I'm a good Don't man. tell me that. For real, just for you saying, just for you recognizing that it's only been out a couple weeks and it's already smashing. That let me know, man. Yeah. You up on game and you ain't slow. Nah, and it's the gonna, type of people I want around me, that's man. What's up. People, I want trend setter, you know, tastemakers, people that set the trend. Yeah, well, you made you know it mean? easy for us. How about yeah, that? Yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. Number love. All right, how nice of a family. My man Rocco. Yeah. His new single. You Look for no. it right now.